Hi everybody. Thanks for coming back and enjoying and joining me today. We are going to um, do a kidding up today. Uh, but first I want to show you the completion of the last um, I'm trying to get it out while I'm talking to you <laughs> of the last um, how uh, fall the last painting from the fall four pack that I did and it was the scarecrow if you guys remember um, from that kidding up so this is the last one from the Amazon four pack fall four pack so uh, I have um, kind of a series of I had kidding up for fall so there was four paintings and this is the fourth one let me kind of move my camera a little bit here for you um, there we go still looks kind of weird in my in my frame but let's zoom in a little bit closer so this that's a little too close so this is the finish Sorry again with the camera. Let me move this because for some reason it is sitting, my camera is sitting a little weird. So I want to fix that. There we go. That's a little bit better. Sorry for that. <laughs> Thanks for, you know, being patient with me. So this is the last one of that four pack, like I said, um, fall. And I am uh, starting a new winter four pack but we'll get into that in a minute and that's what this kidding up is so i just wanted to show you how this finished out now i did not do the washi tape on the sides for this one like i did on the other ones and um i don't i i really just don't know why i didn't for some reason i didn't do it but so if you guys saw my whipping chat on this, I did a whipping chat for the face of the scarecrow because I was like, this thing looks creepy as all get out. <laughs> At least looking up close. And it still looks a little creepy, but I mean, I guess because now you can see him smiling better and stuff like that. So I guess maybe he's not as creepy as I thought, but he looked very creepy to me. Um, even before I started diamond painting, but I think it turned out good. I'm going to hold it up obviously. So you can see the different, uh, colors. I really, I really enjoy all of these colors. I like that the scarecrow has the, the blue overalls on because that really, um, gives you a good focal point that in the barn in the background against it gives you a good focal point against the rest of the orange and yellow in the painting but i really love the way the tree came out um it was really fun to diamond paint that now like back here i have no idea what any of that is or this i don't know if it's clouds peeking through or if it's something it's supposed to be something else i i don't know um, maybe it's owls looking at you, owl eyes looking at you. I don't know, but you know what? I think it turned out good. I think that the, the colors are super bright and, um, yeah, I think it looked, I think it looks really good. So let me put this back in here and then we will, um, hit, I will show you the first one out of my, four pack for that I'm doing for the winter season and this is not separating right so let me get this like this so I can slide this back in here there we go there we go so the four pack that I got for winter is actually a four pack from art dot and it came in this box and I did not do an unboxing for this. And the reason that I didn't do an unboxing is because as you might have noticed, I've done quite a few unboxings lately and um, not as many completions as I would like. So I decided that I'm not gonna do um, the unboxing of this 
I you'll just see the the diamond paintings as I do them like I did for fall but these are all winter um, uh, winter themed, right? So, um, one of the cool things about art dot is, um, at least from what I've seen so far is that they come in a box. So they come already super flat and you don't really have to worry about wrinkles or anything like that. So here is the first of the four that I am going to do. And I, so two of them are, are uh, landscape like this, and the other two are um, profile. Um, so I think that uh, this one, I chose this one to do first because um, looking at all of them, um, I needed a, cha a little bit of a change from the fall colors. And this one here uh, looks to be all darker colors, grays, blues, um, blacks, a little bit of yellow in there, but it's going to be um, kind of a darker picture, and I'm looking forward to that. So this has uh, 16, 16 colors here. Hold on, give me a minute. Let me let my dog out. Okay, I'm back. I guess he was full and he didn't really want to go out. Um, we have a motion, motion, motion sensor doorbell so anytime he walks in front of the door it rings so that we can let him out and lately he's just been going and looking outside anyway <laughs> so this has got 16 16 colors um and it's got some numbers and letters and try and get close up for you so that you can see the drill field Hopefully a little bit. This is blurry. I hope that you can see that. I'm trying to hold it so it doesn't get much glare because the more glare you get, the less, um, the more blurry it is, right? The less it can focus. But the drill field looks good. Um, I, I do see that on some of these colors here like this number one down here has um so number one has um guide circles around it but i'm not seeing that on all of them so it looks like some of the lighter colors the j has the guide circles around it too but again i'm not seeing on seeing it on all of them so what we're going to do, um, I'm not going to cut this out right away um, to put on for my drills. I think what I'm going to do is um, maybe just, oh, this has the DMCs on it. I just noticed that, that the bags have the DMCs on it, which is really nice. So... Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Um, the reason that actually, yeah, I will cut this out because I've noticed that um, recently if I decide how I'm going to frame this, either if I'm going to cut it close or if I'm going to put some washi on it, I have um, recently uh, been thinking of cutting it before I diamond paint it because then I'm not um, so focused on um, making sure that the edges the edges are really um, really uh, clean and stuff because um, as you probably know, um, sometimes, especially on these on these budget diamond paintings, sometimes the... Um, when you go to cut it afterwards, like the drills um, hang a little bit outside of the line there. So um, with that, sometimes it's a little bit more difficult to cut it straight. 
because you don't want to cut the drills and um, so what happens is at least for me um, you wind up getting like some white edging or something like that because of you not cutting uh, because the drills are hindering you from cutting it specifically on the line so what I think I'm going to do at least on this four pack what I'm going to try to do is um, I I think I'm going to cut it out first and then diamond paint it and see if that allows me to have a better um, better edge. Hold on, let me get my um, sticker maker and so yep, sticker maker and some jars. I was not prepared. Like I thought about doing the video and was not prepared. So I'm gonna do um, I am going to run this through my Zyron Create a Sticker Mini that you guys know that I love. Let's get those in there like so. Run this through. And you know what? I'm going to have to look and see if I can um, make sure that um, Oh, my little edge is getting a little sticky there. I'm going to have to go on the online and make sure that I can um or order some more of the this uh removable tape, releasable tape, whatever movable. You know what? I can never remember what word to use um for this. Um I'm so distracted today. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm really sorry. I've been a little bit, like, I've been quite distracted lately for some reason. Um, but I'm trying to work on it. <laughs> so let me cut these out. So, yeah, so I need to, what I was saying was that I need to um, order some more tape because honestly I'm not quite sure how much is left on that roll and I want to make sure that I don't run out since I'm doing this method uh, pretty much every time now on um, while kidding up rather than you know trying to create my own stickers or anything like that in the sense of writing like writing them out and everything um, it would be nice if if some of these budget uh, companies would add stickers in there or like a legend sheet so that you can easily make the stickers um, but I don't mind doing this um, I guess it's a little bit fun I'm getting glue I'm gonna have to clean these scissors up and I like that create a uh, create a sticker mini. I think that I think it works pretty well. All right, so I'm just using Tic Tac containers because it's my go-to for the smaller diamond paintings. The bigger ones, I have round um, containers and stuff that I use. So I'm gonna open up these drills and I'm gonna show them to you while I'm kidding them up, so that um, you guys can see all the colors. Um, again, like I said, the, the painting or the, the drills themselves say, state on there, they've got, um, the, sorry, they've got the painting number on it, that WT5, and then they've got the, um, the DMC 939. The other number is, you know, what number it is on listed you know one through 16 so let's go over to number one and I need my scissors again so I don't know why I cut it that way that's kind of weird 
I should have just done it this way. So this one here, I'm going to zoom in a little bit, just a little bit. So this one here is number 159. See that really pretty gray there. Um, I'm going to use a smaller one for this. And I'm hoping that I don't need a tray. I could probably, I should probably, you know what? I'm going to grab one. I got this new big one. Or it's not new, but I mean, I guess it is kind of new. Um, I got this, I got a new, uh, what do you want to call it? A new um, storage, one of those zipper cases. And so it came with, uh, it came with tools. Um, and one of the tools was this, this very nice big tray. It's the biggest one that I've ever seen. <laughs> it is huge, but it might be too big for me to do this with. I might have to use my other one. I'm not used to this. Yeah, this, this one might be too big. Let me grab my, my Nix's Notions because that one's easier for me to use. So this is not a number one, like I said, 159. And we'll put this in there like so. And number two. Number two. Number two is 161. It's this nice grayish blue color. So how's everybody doing? I hope well. Um, I'm pretty sure that, uh, I'm pretty sure that I asked you how your Thanksgiving was, and, um, so I hope that it was well. I hope everybody enjoyed their, their holiday and is looking forward to Christmas. I know I am. I love Christmas. I just love the decorations, tell you the truth. <laughs> if that makes any sense. I'm gonna zoom in just a tad bit more. If that makes any sense, I like the I like the the decorations more than anything. Um yesterday I um recorded a video and then I uh got my diamond painting that I finished last year from I think it was maybe dreamer designs i don't remember but it was a um a christmas scene like an indoor christmas scene with a fireplace and stuff this here is number 168 really pretty it's called it was called cozy christmas that i did last year and it, you know obviously it's before i started doing a youtube channel and it took me forever and i didn't um I didn't get a chance to display it last year, put it up last year, because I finished it like the day after Christmas or, or like two days after Christmas. I don't remember how long it was. And so it pretty much got wrapped up. I pressed it between um, two like poster boards. And um, it basically sat all year. Um, until yesterday, Saturday, we went out and got, went to Ikea and I got some frames cause it's a pretty big one. This, this color here is 318. That's really pretty. Am I too close? Here, let me zoom back out. Um, yeah, so we went out to Ikea on Saturday and I got a frame for it, which, um, it's a little bit bigger because it's an odd size diamond painting. It was like a, um, I forget what size completion it was, but it was an odd size. And so the, it's, the frame is a little bit too big for it, but it worked out pretty well. It looks nice. I've got it hanging up in the living room. I framed it last night and hung it up. So, um, and then I have the, uh, 
Christmas wreath and um, candle that you guys should have just seen the completion of. That is up. This color here is 413. Really pretty dark gray. Um, so yeah, I just I just did the completion of that one uh, video of that one. So um, the wreath is hanging in my kitchen on one of my walls in my kitchen, and the the uh, candle is um, standing on top of my stereo system so yeah um so my husband hasn't said anything yet so i'm assuming because he worked last night so i'm assuming that he saw them when he came home but when he works we don't really see each other very often in the sense of when he comes home from work i'm still sleeping and then when i get up to go to work um, he's going to bed. So we get, you know, maybe about a 10 minute conversation usually on the days that he's working. This is number 415. Really pretty gray. Yeah, it's, it's a little hard sometimes. I, I, um, I'm not, I still, I don't like it. I don't like that three days a week, um, Two and uh, two and three days a week, I don't get to really even see him, you know, except for like ten minutes. That's about it. So that kind of bothers me sometimes, but I'm trying to make do. I mean, I know I know it bothers him too, so I'm not trying to be all selfish about it. I I understand it's it's work, but I wish that. I wish that we had different or schedules that were the same, you know, so that we could have more time together. This is number 436. Nice tan color. It's more of like an orangey tan. And yeah, so um so he hasn't really said anything to me about it. The one where, where I hung the picture up in the living room, he had um, a painting, I say he, um, his painting uh, that he had before um, we even started dating or whatever that was hanging in our living room. And so I just moved that to our bedroom. It's hanging over our bed now. And I put the Christmas one out there because we don't have a lot of wall space in our living room, believe it or not. 644, 644, sorry, I kind of said that to myself. Um, we don't have a lot of wall space, so our living room is like on a, the corner of the house. So we've got um, a pretty big window on the front part of the house, and then on the side we have another window, and... Um, it opens up into like the dining room kitchen area. Um, it's just a regular doorway, but the one wall has like a cutout. So, um, so we don't have very much wall space at all. Cause L and the last wall, the fourth wall is, um, taken up by our, um, TVs. So we, because we game, we play games and stuff together. We have two TVs. They're two like 55, 60 inch TVs that are. So if, if this here, if this surface is our wall, we have my TV on the bottom and his is mounted on top. So we have two wall mounted TVs on top of each other that we sit and play games together with. Um, and then, so the one big wall that we have in our living room is taken up by that. Um, so the wall space that I do have, this is number 676. The wall space that I do have is, is small. So, needless to say, 
I had to take out his picture and on the one big wall that we have so that I could hang up the Christmas picture. And he, he hasn't said anything. I'm sure he's fine with it because it's not like I put his, excuse me, put his picture like in a closet somewhere. It's still out. He can still see it. It's just over our bed now. Okay, next color is, and we haven't put up our tree or anything like that yet because um, he's got that all in the garage and um, Saturday was really tiring so we wound up just um, going shopping and then um, came home and watched, we watched a movie or whatever. This is number 803. It's a really, like, pretty blue. I think, I don't know if I could fit this in a small one. I might have to put this in a big one. So, yeah, he, um, so none of that's up yet, lights or anything like that. I asked him, so last year was our first Christmas in the house. And so I, I and we didn't put up it, um, any outdoor decorations. And I asked him this year if he wanted to put up any outdoor decorations. And he flat out told me no. <laughs> and I said, okay, well, if you don't want to put any lights on the outside of the house, how about can we at least put lights in the windows? And he's like, yeah, sure. <laughs> and it's not that he doesn't like Christmas, because he does. He, he loves Christmas, but he's not about putting up lights. <laughs> He's like, nope, ain't going to do it. I don't want to do that. So we're going to compromise, obviously, and put up lights in the windows, um, but not on the outside of the house, which, honestly, I'm fine with. Um, oh, my gosh. I dropped all these drills everywhere, so don't mind me because I'm trying to pick them up. But um, so, yeah, no outside lights, but we'll get the tree up and everything. Mm. Sorry about that little hiccup. I'm not sure where I was. My battery died on this. So I've got it plugged in now. Hopefully we can finish this recording. Um, so this color here is 823. Yeah. So I think I was talking about um, the Christmas decorations. And I think I told you about um, my husband not wanting to put anything um, outside. So yeah, so I am going to, we haven't gotten the, the inside decorations up yet. We haven't gotten the tree up. Um, all I have up is what I was saying earlier, which is the painting and the two things that you saw the completion for. Um, but nothing else yet. So hopefully this weekend, we will get stuff up. Um, at least that's what I'm hoping. Maybe, because he's he's off. Um, it's his short week, so he's working um, Monday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And he's got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday off. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday off. So, um, hopefully... Um, if he doesn't get the tree up during the week, we'll get it up this weekend. This is 931. It's a really pretty color here. See, like I told you a bit when I first showed you this painting, these um these colors are dark. Um not like super dark, but they're all shades of blue and um grays, and I really like that. You only have the a couple of light colors and that's gotta be for the lights that are um, in the house and stuff but I think this is gonna look really cool because it's you know the house on water and I'll show you the the painting again when I'm done with this but that's why I wanted to change from all the fall colors now fall is my favorite time of the year because um, I love all the colors, but when you're diamond painting with the same colors all month long, sometimes it gets a little 
um, sometimes it, it's you know, you get a little tired of them. And I poured this out before I told you what color it is. It is 4 or 9.30, <coughs> excuse me, 9.34. And it's hard to see. Um, it's kind of like a greenish, like a, a gray with a green tint in it. Let me zoom back in. I forgot that because this went off, we lost the zoom. So, um, yeah, so... <clears throat> excuse me you get kind of tired of those colors so I um, wanted to do something different the the four paintings that are in this pack are really pretty um, and I'm excited to do them for winter and I really like doing this this uh, kidding up series um, with the fall I was really I really enjoyed that so I decided that I wanted to do it for winter as well and I'll most likely do it for spring and summer because you know every year you get new um, new diamond paintings for the season so I think it'd be fun to do four packs um, Amazon's really good with four packs so uh, now this has two bags of 939 and you guys all know that that's that really dark blue that looks black almost unless the light hits it just right so this has got a lot of 939 in it two bags worth but yeah I I like it let me know what you guys think about the series I know that um, that you guys really liked watching the kidding ups um, and I'm interested to know did you like them because you like the kidding ups themselves or did you like them because they were seasonal um, like it was seasonal because I know with um, with me um, I I get into the seasons and I like I like being able to enjoy the seasons. I always do this kind of slow because I'm always afraid that I'm going to spill it out everywhere. I love this tray and I've told I've said this many many times, but the Nix's Notions tray um, I love the fact that they have such a high lip on the sides. So, um, I think my birthday is next month, so I think I'm going to treat myself to a couple more of these trays so I have them in a couple different colors. Um, I have this one, and then the other one that I have does not have the grooves in it, so it's good for specials. I like using that for specials because it, they don't, like, get stuck on the grids, on the, on the pathways, um, and they're easier they lie flatter this here color is 3072 yeah so I think I'm gonna splurge and get myself a couple more uh, of these trays because I really like them a lot she does have um, some other styles on her Etsy page so if you go there um, to look at these at the trays um, definitely check out all the different styles that she has because um, they're worth it I think the I think they're well worth the money um, I like it a lot I actually get a little lost when I'm not using this tray because I use these um, Tic Tac containers a lot and this Spout is just absolutely perfect for the Tic Tac containers. And we are on color number 16, our last color. This is 3842. It's really pretty blue. I keep saying that, really pretty blue. All of them are blue. <laughs> so yeah, 16 colors on this. Um, lots of color blocking. Um, well, actually, I'm, I'm looking at it now as I'm saying that and tapping these drills in here looking at it though um, I say a lot of color blocking but 
there's not really. I mean, it, it looks like it's a good mix of both um, color blocking and confetti, which is nice because I prefer, I actually prefer confetti. I prefer a good amount of confetti, I'll say. Um, I don't pref I don't like it when um, it's a uh, horrendous amount of confetti. That meaning, I don't like it when all, it's like you're doing two drills here and then you gotta switch to another one and do two drills over there and it's, that is a little frustrating, and that's what I'm having um, trouble with finishing my Oraloa one, which uh, I'm getting closer to being done. Believe me, when I get done, I will do a completion video on that one and show you all of that because, let me tell you, that is hard. <laughs> All right, so again, here's your picture. Let me zoom out. Oh, I am all the way zoomed out. So let me move this here so you can see. There's the full picture. And like I said, it's got all this, you know, it's got the house here. You've got the water here, snow, and maybe a little um, chapel in the background, maybe. Um, a little bit of smoke coming out of the chimney so you know somebody's home. And there's some you know, lighter colors over here. So I'm not, I'm not quite sure what's over there. Um, hopefully it'll show up better when, when I get the diamonds on it. Um, but yeah, so here it is. Remember it's a four pack from Art Dot, as you can see there. And I will link it down below as I try to do with all of my videos. And here are your colors here. These nice, beautiful blues with a couple of little colors of um, lighter colors. Yeah. So there's that kidding up. Doesn't take too long. Oh, do you want me to measure this? You know what? I don't really do that that often, but now that I'm thinking about it, let me measure this for you guys. Um, it says on the, on there that it, on the top of there that it's a 30 by 40. So let's actually see if that's true. This is just what I suspected. A 35 by should be a 25. So a 35 by 25 is what I'm assuming. And I am pretty much right. It's a 35 by 25. So yeah, it's true to what I've said in the past where most um, budget diamond paintings, they'll say they're a 30 by 40 and really they're a 35 by 25 but yeah okay and this uh, this four pack did come with a really nice um really nice uh um kit so you've got you've got this blue boat here with um a pen holder it's got a green boat a big plate of wax in there like four squares of wax it's got three pens in here with um, different size multi-placers. It looks like that might be a three-placer. That one might be a maybe a five, six-placer. This one might be a nine-placer. I'm not quite sure. I've been practicing with my um, with multi-placing. I did actually quite a bit of it on the Scarecrow one, um, but I'm not comfortable enough to um, use anything more than a what am I using? A four, a three placer right now. So I'm using a three placer on this nice pen that I got um, from uh, AliExpress. I really like this pen, but I still use the typical standard um, single placer that comes on all the pink pens, right? You see all the pink pens? They have the 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 standard, I take all of these out of the pink pens and I just recycled the pink, uh, the pen part. And I keep all of these because, um, as weird as it sounds, these are my favorite tips. I like them. They're thin. I can see the drills with tips like these, like sing, I have, um, two sets of these metal, um, things, metal placers. 
I can't think today, as I've told you before. <laughs> um, yeah, I have I have some. I have a set that's rose gold, and then um, then a silver set came with this pen. Um, but I don't like the single placers because the way that they're designed, you see how this is designed where it's like kind of, it looks a little fatter right, right in here. If, I don't know if it'll zoom in or not, but right in here it's fatter. And it's not that it's super fat for you to put your, to place your drills. It's actually quite thin, but I can't see the single drill. So when I'm going to place it down, um, I can't see if I'm placing it on the circle. It's like this, it's like the, the outside of the, the placer gets in the way of me seeing exactly where I'm placing it. So that's why I like these because these wind up, they're thin enough and there's nothing super thick on the outside that is distracting me from seeing where I'm placing my drill. So yeah. I save all those little tips and they're in a big bag in my drawer so that I can use them whenever they wear out, if I chip them or whatever. And yeah, that's what I use. <laughs> I'm just jabbering on and I keep meaning to just let you guys go. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to let you guys go. I want you guys to have a great day. Um, you'll be seeing some more kidding up. Uh, kidding up from me because I actually have a four pack that is um, Christmas related, right? So I have, you saw the, you saw the unboxing of the small um, nine pack that's Christmas related. And then I have a four pack of like this size that is Christmas related. So you'll probably see me kit up um, one or two of those. Um, I don't, I'm not planning on getting them all done because right now I'm focusing on finishing that Orloa since it is a, um, since it is, you know what? I am so distracted right now. Did I do, I think I did an unboxing for the Christmas ones. I did. That's why I didn't do the unboxing for this one. I'm losing my mind. I, I'm pretty sure I'm losing my mind. <laughs> but, so, my focus is on getting the Orloa one done, so, because it's a Christmas present, so I need to get that done. And then after that, we'll see what, where things take me. I have quite a bit of big canvases that I want to work on. Most of them you have not seen. I haven't unboxed them. Um, I haven't even opened them. They're still in the plastic. So um, you'll be seeing those coming in randomly. But I want to do, like I said, I want to do the seasonal stuff because I really like that. Um, uh, I like doing these four packs to show you different stuff for each season. So I'm going to continue with that. And what I was saying before was, if you like that, please comment below. Um, I would love to hear what you say. And thank you to all of the people who have commented. And I try to get back to everybody. Um, I think that I have, I think I only have a couple comments left right now to answer to or reply on. But yeah, thank you for stopping by. Leave a comment. Uh, like and subscribe if you would, if you want to. And... I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.